Right then, guys. Here we are, spawning in the middle of a field with mule deer running straight at us. Are they going aggressive? Oh, damn, I think they're going aggressive. Okay, hold on. <laughs> right. Okay, that's fine. But the reason we are stood in this field is because we have our second public land five-star mule deer. Absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe this. Now, I'm going to try to take the shot before they end up spooking from all these other deer around. Um, he's still hopping along behind the vehicle, so he's going to be a little bit annoying. But there he is. He's actually pretty big, to be fair. Good shot on him. We might put a second one in him just in case. But actually, no, I'm not, I'm not sure whether that was a good shot. I don't know whether that was a good shot. Okay. Um, we might have just lost that. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go over there and check. Wow. We messed him up. There's the blood. Red, small amount of blood, clear. How have we messed him up? Animal survived. I don't actually know how we've messed him up. Well, we shot him again, so we'll see if that was a good shot. But, um, yeah, not the best start to today's video. And once again, red, small amount of blood. So I'm going to follow this track slowly and see if he's going to die or whether we can get him again. Right then, guys, I seem to have located the herd. I'm just putting out some high fitness calls and seeing if they come in. I might move behind this tree, maybe get in a more clear shooting lane. But yeah, I'll put out another call now. And then, yeah, hopefully we can get him coming in. And if this isn't the herd, then yeah, I really don't know what we're going to do. Right then, guys, I have located the five star mature mule deer, and he's actually giving us a shot then. Please, mate. And he's down. That was a very interesting flop, but I'm so glad that we recovered this trophy. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that. That is insane. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say, also, I found this guy, and I was like, right, I'm not going to play Le Nez Purse anymore. I don't want an aid cycle to happen for us to lose him. I want to record him tomorrow because I didn't have enough time last night. So I went and played some uh, Transylvania. And let me say, we've got a little bit of a surprise on there as well. That I found this morning while I wasn't recording. So I hopped off of that map and we didn't play that either. But here is our second five-star public clan mule deer. And oh my god. Oh. Oh, the first... Oh, my God. Are you kidding? So close. The first shot just went too high. And it literally went in between the lungs. What? Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Yeah, that was the second shot. I'm extremely surprised that that didn't drop him from a neck shot. Wow. Okay. And then this one, straight through the lungs, and it dropped him. And that was a 97%. 97% public land mule deer. 490! 490 for a public land mule deer. That is actually insane. We'll go ahead and tax that. And we'll go and... Mm, yeah, we'll, go, we'll do some more hunting around here. See what we can find. And maybe we should go see if our four-star mature whitetail has aged down here. Maybe we can get another one. Right then, guys, here we are down in Diamond Drill, and we got a one-star adult mule deer out here. He's not looking too bad, but I thought maybe we should experiment a little. Let's just have a look at the white tail. Mm, that guy's not bad up there. See if I can get a quick view on him. Two-star mature, not bad. But yeah, I think we'll take out a one-star adult in here. If one shows a shot. I think this guy's not bad. We'll tr try to place it far back in there. And that is a lot of blood. He will be going down extremely soon. I'm surprised he doesn't drop. There we go. Pfft, flop. But yeah. 
one star adult. This is just kind of a test really to see whether it is a good thing to take the one star adults or not. Right then, here is the absolute gallons of blood and then the one star adult mule deer out here. And it was, yeah, just clip the heart. Only just. Oof, I mean, that's what I was trying to do. But that was a 64% one star adult mule deer. So yeah, I think we should start taking them. But obviously looking into the racks first. If it's a large and a good looking rack, then obviously leave it. But yeah, I think we do need to start looking at getting our butt into gear and cracking down on these mule deer and whitetail. Whitetail are more important because we've got eight or nine five star mule deer in the lodge now. Oh well, yeah, it will be once we put this one in. But yeah, absolutely insane. Cannot believe that. So many five star mule deer. At this point, I reckon... Give it another year and we could have a lodge full of mule deer. <laughs> right then, guys. I've been searching for the herd with the four-star whitetail and they just haven't appeared anywhere. And this tiny one-star adult, he genuinely has to be within, like, 10% genetics, I swear. But we're probably going to try shoot him when he gives us an angle. Or maybe make them go alert. I don't know what's best. We're slowly creeping. See if we can get get him to turn his head round, and then we'll probably bop him in the head. Okay, you can actually sneak in quite close. <laughs> um, I didn't really think I'd be able to sneak in this close. But yeah, I said. There we go. No, that isn't that isn't it? Yeah, that is him. Damn it, I should have taken that shot. Oh, we got another one. Yeah, I reckon that's a good shot, unless it was a little bit far forward, which it might have been. Oh. I may have found the white tail just as I shot. Yep, I did. Oh, that's brilliant. Da, ah, look at the size of that one that ran through. Throwing it. Okay, so he might have been a five, but that, that he should survive for a little bit. That'd be fine. We can come back to him next episode. Right then, guys. It seems to be a vital hit. So I'll follow this blood trail. Hopefully, you didn't go very far. And yeah, I'll, get, I'll catch up with you when I'm there. Right then, guys. Here is our mule deer. T tiny, tiny mule deer. And that's what I was fearing. Shooting too far forward. We really did shoot far forward, but the bullet would have had to go like there in order to mess it up but yeah that was like perfectly placed behind the shoulder but that is not where you want it at an angle like that and that is a 12.46 percent mule deer no wonder we wanted him out the herd wowzers so small right then guys i thought i'd come down to this lake of diamond drill because again high genetics there might be something good and um there's a pretty chunky whitetail in the middle of the lake. Once we will be able to spot him, it is a four-star mature whitetail. After so long without getting any good whitetail, we're finally starting to see some improvements. Definitely another one to watch. Not going to kill him now because there would be no point really. And we got a herd of pretty good looking mule deer out there. I don't think that's a five. We got another four star mature mule deer. Are you kidding me? For God's sake. And a three star. And then there's a female out there. That's absolutely ridiculous. So many large mule deer. That's not a bad buck. Three star mature. We yep, didn't mean to do that. We're probably not going to take anything at the moment. Two star adult. There was a one star adult in here. I might have a look see if I can get him. But yeah, four star white tail. And a four star mule deer at this lake. Come on. Three star looks pretty epic as well. Right then, guys. After having a much more up-close look at this one star adult up here, I think he's a perfect candidate to take. And he is down immediately. 
the whitetail will flee, the mule deer will flee, but then, yeah, I can't imagine there is anything else that we want to check out. Right then, guys, here is our one-star adult mule deer. Let's hope this is a good decision. I can imagine it was, but, oh damn, 75%. His racks are completely different on both sides, so I don't know where he was going to pull out that three-star mature from. But, um, yeah, I guess a good one to take. That will put us over 60,000 cash again. And I think we will take a look down this river, and then we need to go have a look at the surprise on Transylvania, I think. Right then, guys, I kind of fell off a hill. <laughs> so we won't talk about that, and I think we'll switch over to Transylvania now. And see if we can get... Oh, there's an elk out there. See... Oh, and a whole herd of mule deer. <laughs> see if we can get that little surprise five star. Right then, guys. One... Yeah, I am speaking. <laughs> Once again, we are in the middle of a field. Stalking up on some deer. Now, I don't quite know where he is. I know that he's a thicken. And I know that he's somewhere. Right then, guys. After a little bit of waiting and a little bit of patience, he's decided to show himself. Pull out the rifle. Oh, he's kind of moving, though. He is kind of moving. Uh, actually, no, he's gone now. Whoops. Uh-oh. And the search continues. Ooh, okay. So we've got a four-star red deer down there as well. So we've got a four and a five-star red deer down there. That's insane. Right, okay. Ooh, what? Who Who and what is walking there? we got a two-star there as well coming into the call. There's a lot of hygiene eggs around the place. What are you down there? I see you. That might be him, you know. Five star red deer. Right, he's down there. I'm going to get the rifle on him and we're going to watch. We're going to wait until he gives us a shot. Ah, he just kind of trots back though. That's the issue. If I, if I don't do it in time, they just trot back and stop. Right, guys. There he is. Get the rifle out. They've gone alerted, so this is good. And then... Oh, shh. I've hit the tree. Damn it. I hit the tree. This is such a hard place to hunt. So good for five stars. So hard to hunt. And I bet you now, if we reset time, he's going to die. So, yeah. That's that's him done. We're probably not going to get him. Because there's no way we're going to find him in that. And if we reset time... <sighs> right. We might as well sit here and wait and see if he does come in anymore. Because it is... Oh, it's 10.21. He's not coming back. For God's sake, stupid place. Genuinely stupid place. Red Deer have some of the best senses in the game, so you cannot get close. There are so many trees, there is no good vantage point in here. And the two star mature is just going to come in, realise I'm there, spook, run, and spook everything before the five star even gets there, so... It's pretty pointless. I'm going to sit here and wait and see if we can get him back, but I highly doubt it. Right then, guys. I've located the herd. I've worked my magic once again. And he's literally just there. Five star, mature red deer. We're going to try taking him with the bow. Let's see how this goes. If we mess him up, we mess him up. It's not the end of the world. But where's... It's there. <sighs> ah. Shot. I think that that is a vital hit. He is absolutely massive. Look at the size of him. Wow. That's so cool. Was it... I don't know. That's the... Is it promising? It was a decently far shot. 
Was it a vital shot? Was it a vital shot? Damn it! Are you kidding? How is that not a vital shot? Ah, well, I don't know. I should have just taken the rifle. We mess up sometimes, but unfortunately I've messed up a lot today in this video. I don't know if many of you have been able to work out, but I'm really not feeling well this morning. I woke up with a sore throat, headache, and I thought, I'll record anyway, we'll see how it goes, because I know that i got two five stars on the map, so like, it should be an easy video, but not turning out to be very easy at the moment, is it? <laughs> right, well, I'll see if I can locate the herd again, but I highly doubt I will be able to. Right then, guys, I managed to find the herd again. I've been working them in for about 10, 15 minutes now. I'm going to move a little bit over because I don't want anything clipping the trees. Finally! A good shot! And I just wanted to put another one in him to get him down. Oh my god. Finally! After so long, we get him down. Let's see what we've done to him. That's actually quite a cool picture, so I might, I might put that in. <laughs> Actually, I crouched down. No, not that much. In the trees. That's well cool. <laughs> but yeah, picking him up. Ah, oh, it was just to the right. Yeah, and the first shot didn't even hit, so he clipped the tree or something. But yeah, just to the right and shot him through the neck, basically. And then that one's a little bit far back, but I would have killed him. And then the second one was double lung and dead. That was a 94% five-star red deer. I love this rack as well. And that was a 480. I'm pretty sure the second 480 we've got. And oh my god, that absolutely insane. I doubt we need to take a picture because I think I've got loads saved. So I think we'll go ahead and tax that. And I think that's what all we'll do for today's video because I'm feeling horrendous. We'll go stick him in the lodge. But yeah, I'm not feeling very good right now. There may be a stream tonight. This video is coming out tomorrow. So there may have been a stream yesterday. I don't know yet. But ugh, I feel horrendous. That I At least I can blame that on all the messed up, <laughs> messed up five stars that we've shot. Can we stick a red deer on here? Um... Whoops. Q. We can stick a red deer on here. We'll probably, probably throw him on here. Two grand. And that is our fifth five-star red deer. I think I think we're getting quite a few. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's quite a lot of red deer. Do you know what I want to do? One thing before we will uh, go put the other one in the lodge is I want to see if our melanistic row is. Here, so I get to show him off in a video. And see if he's aged, maybe. Who knows? There he is. 270 metres out. One star young melanistic row. We got a three star in there. We got a young. We got a young. And we've got a female, I believe that is. So yeah, still a one star young. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Right, we'll head over to Transylvania. Uh, no, Nez Perce now. And we will put our ninth... Five star meal deer in the lodge. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right then, guys. Here we are in our Nez Perce lodge. And once again, we are putting a... I was weird. You could see it. Yeah, you could see it going through the back. But yeah. Once again, we're putting another five star meal deer in the... Is this a five star? Yeah. Mm, okay. Got right on the 31st of July. I swear one of these in here isn't a five star. Maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, four star. Yeah, that one right there. The guy on the left. Probably keep him in because he looks he looks even bigger than that five star. Uh, we got a smaller one and we've got our decently sized two star mature uh, white tail. Uh, where should we put him? We can just put him like anywhere. Can we stick him on here? Yeah, we'll stick him on here. This is getting insane. So we've got three, six, any more? Six, seven. A nine, nine five star mule deer. Come on, that's just ridiculous. We need some other stuff. 
counting Hollywood and Hollywood's dad, we've got 11 mule deer in the lodge and we've got four white tail. Absolutely insane. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very all over the place today. I was, I, you might be able to hear, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm well. And yes, yeah, it's, it's been a struggle, but I was like, I can't. I make two videos per week. I can't miss out on not making a video. I don't want to let people down. Well, I don't even know if I'm letting anyone down. But yeah. Um, fox, rabbit on the back. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.